Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make this cute little seal or cardamom seal. And uh, I hope you've seen all the materials that you need in the previous uh, slide. And um, all you need, you're gonna need the gray yarn and uh, some white yarn and black yarn as you can see and you're gonna need a crochet hook that's 4.5 millimeters okay so this is a very simple and easy pattern to make so it's also fit for beginners so uh, let's get started okay so we're going to start by doing a chain 15 so we'll do chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 okay now starting uh in the second chain from the hook we are going to do single crochets across for a total of 14 single crochets so we'll do single crochet so you skip the first chain and you go into the second chain you do single crochet single crochet single crochet and you continue single doing single crochet all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end you'll do a chain one and turn Okay, so now in the second row we are going to increase the first stitch then do single crochets all the way and increase in the last stitch so we'll have a total of 16 stitches so we'll increase so which means you do two single crochets in the same stitch and then you continue to do single crochets all the way all the way to the end until you have one stitch left here where we'll do the increase okay so we'll increase in the last stitch over here so we'll do two single crochets in the same stitch and then we'll do chain one and turn okay so now in the third row we're going to do the same we'll increase in the first stitch do single crochet all through and increase in the last stitch so we'll have a total of 18 stitches okay so increase and continue to do single crochets all through and then we'll increase again at the end okay so again we'll increase in the last stitch And then do a chain one and turn so now in the fourth row we are going to do the same increase in the first and the last stitch and do single crochets in the other stitches so we'll have a total of 20 stitches so you'll increase and continue doing single crochets all the way until we have one stitch left here where we'll increase okay so we'll increase in the last stitch and then do a chain one and turn now in the fifth row we're going to do the same increase in the first and the last stitch so we'll have a total of 22 stitches so increase and do single crochets all through 
and then again we'll increase here in the last stitch okay so increase in the last stitch then chain one and turn so now in the sixth row we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 22 stitches so continue and do single crochet single crochet in every stitch all the way until you get to the end okay so when you get to the end do a chain one and turn so now in the seventh row we are going to increase in the first and the last stitch and do single crochets in all the other stitches for a total of 24 stitches so we'll increase and then do single crochets all through and then we'll increase again in the last stitch so increase in the last stitch and then do a chain one and turn okay so now for the next four rows which is from row 8 until row 11 we're going to do single crochets all through and always remember to do a chain one at the end before the start of the other row okay so do single crochets all the way until you get to the end for the next four rows until row 11 so i'll see when you're done with uh, row 11 and then we'll start the 12th row together so when you at the end of row 11 this is how your uh, small uh, seal should look like okay so at the end of row 11 we are going to do a chain one and turn so now for row 12 we're going to increase the first stitch and the last stitch and then do single crochets in all the other stitches so we'll have a total of 26 stitches so we'll increase in the first stitch and then do single crochets in all the other stitches so continue doing single crochets all the way across and then we'll do an increase in the last stitch okay so we'll do an increase in the last stitch and then do a chain one and turn okay so now for the next six rows which is row 13 until row 18 we are going to do single crochets all the way through and uh, for a total of 26 stitches in each row okay so continue and do single crochets all through until row 18 and always remember to do a chain one at the end and then I'll see when you're done with the 18th row so that we start the 19th row together okay so after the 18th row this is how our seal looks like okay so now uh, in our 19th row I'm first of all going to do a chain one and turn so the 19th row we are going to decrease in both ends so we'll do one decrease here and then one decrease at the end and then we'll do single crochets all through for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to decrease and to decrease we'll go into the first stitch pull through go into the second stitch pull through and pull through all the three strands of the yarn okay and then we'll continue to do single crochets in all the other stitches Okay, so do single crochets until you have two stitches left here at the end where we're going to decrease again. Okay, so now we're going to decrease again here at the end. And then do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in the next four rows, which is row 20 and until row 23, 
we are going to do single crochets all the way through with a chain one at every end so we'll have a total of um, 24 stitches in each row okay so I'll see you at the end of row 23 so that we start the 24th row together okay so now after the 23rd row this is how our work looks like so now at the end of the 23rd row we are going to do a chain one and turn so in row 24 we are going to decrease on both ends and do single crochet all through for a total of 22 stitches okay so we are going to decrease and then we'll continue doing single crochets all the way and then we'll decrease again here at the end okay so we're going to decrease here at the end and then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the 25th row we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 22 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end okay so when we get to the end of row 25 we're going to do a chain one and turn so for the 26th row we are going to decrease at both ends and do a single crochets all the way through for a total of 20 stitches so we'll decrease and then we'll continue to do single crochets all the way and then we'll decrease again at the end okay so we are also going to decrease again at the end and then do a chain one and turn now in the 27th row we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 20 stitches so we're going to do single crochets all the way through until you get to the end okay so at the end of row 27 we are going to do a chain one and turn so now for the 28th row we are going to decrease at both ends and do single crochets all the way through for a total of 18 stitches so we are going to decrease and then do single crochets all the way and then we're going to decrease again here at the end okay so we get when we get to the end we're going to do a decrease and then chain one and turn so now for the 29th row we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochets All the way until you get to the end okay so now at the end of row 29 we are going to do a chain one and turn so now for the 30th row we are going to decrease at both ends and do single crochets all the way across for a total of 16 stitches so we're going to decrease and then continue and do single crochets in all the other stitches And then we are going to decrease again here at the end so when we get to the end we are going to decrease and then we'll do a chain one and turn so now for the 31st row we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 16 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochets all the way 
until we get here at the end okay so at the end of row 31 you're going to do a chain one and turn so now for the 32nd row we are going to decrease at both ends and do single crochets in all the other stitches for a total of 14 stitches so we're going to start by decreasing and then do single crochets in the remaining stitches and then we're going to decrease again here at the end okay when you get to the end we are going to decrease and then chain one and turn okay so now in row 33 we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 14 stitches so we're going to continue and do single crochets all the way until we get here at the end okay so when you get to the end of the row we're going to do chain one and turn so now for row 34 we are going to decrease in both ends and then do single crochets on the other stitches for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to decrease and then do single crochets in the other stitches and then we'll decrease again here at the end okay so at the end we're going to decrease then do chain one and turn so now for row 35 we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 12 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochets all the way until we get here at the end okay so at the end of the row again we'll do a chain one and turn now for row 36 again we'll decrease in both ends and do single crochets in the remaining stitches so we'll have a total of 10 stitches so we'll decrease and continue to do single crochets and then we are going to decrease again at the end okay so we'll decrease at the end chain one and turn okay so row 37 we are going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 10 stitches so continue to do single crochet all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end we're going to do chain one and turn now for row 38 we're going to decrease on both ends and do single crochets in the other six stitches so we'll have a total of eight stitches so we'll decrease and then do single crochets in the remaining i mean in the other six stitches and then we'll decrease again at the end okay so decrease at the end do a chain one and turn Okay, so row 39 will do single crochets all the way across for a total of eight stitches so continue and do single crochets all the way to the end okay so at the end of the row we are going to do chain one and turn so now row 40 we are going to do an increase on both ends and then we'll do single crochets in the other six stitches so we'll have a total of 10 stitches so we'll increase in the first stitch and then do single crochets in the other stitches and then we'll increase again here at the end okay so at the end we'll increase and then do chain one and turn so now row 41 will do again an increase on both ends and then single crochets in the other eight stitches so we'll have 12 single crochets so we'll increase 
and then do single crochets in the other stitches and then again you'll come and increase here at the end so when you get to the end we'll increase again do a chain one and turn now row 42 we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 12 stitches so continue and do single crochets all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end of the row we're going to do chain one and turn so now for row 34 we are going to decrease in both ends and then do single crochets on the other stitches for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to decrease and then do single crochets in the other stitches and then we'll decrease again here at the end okay so at the end we are going to decrease then do chain one and turn so now for row 35 we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 12 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochets all the way until we get here at the end okay so at the end of the row again we'll do a chain one and turn now for row 36 again we'll decrease in both ends and do single crochets in the remaining stitches so we'll have a total of 10 stitches so we'll decrease and continue to do single crochets and then we're going to decrease again at the end okay so we'll decrease at the end chain one and turn okay so row 37 we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of 10 stitches so continue to do single crochets all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end we're going to do chain one and turn now for row 38 we are going to decrease on both ends and do single crochets in the other six stitches so we'll have a total of eight stitches so we'll decrease and then do single crochets in the remaining i mean in the other six stitches and then we'll decrease again at the end okay so decrease at the end do a chain one and turn Okay, so row 39 will do single crochets all the way across for a total of eight stitches so continue and do single crochets all the way to the end okay so at the end of the row we are going to do chain one and turn so now row 40 we're going to do an increase on both ends and then we'll do single crochets in the other six stitches so we'll have a total of 10 stitches so we'll increase in the first stitch and then do single crochets in the other stitches and then we'll increase again here at the end okay so at the end we'll increase and then do chain one and turn so now row 41 will do again an increase on both ends and then single crochets in the other eight stitches so we'll have 12 single crochets so we'll increase and then do single crochets in the other stitches and then again you'll come and increase here at the end so when you get to the end we'll increase again do a chain one and turn now row 42 we are going to do single crochets all the way across 
for a total of 12 stitches so continue and do single crochets all the way to the end okay so at the end of row 42 we'll do a chain one and turn so now row 43 we are going to increase at both ends and do single crochets uh, in the remaining 10 stitches so we'll have a total of 14 stitches so we'll increase And then do single crochets in the next 10 stitches and then we'll increase again here at the end okay so when you get to the end we are going to increase and then we'll do a chain one and turn so now row 44 we are going to increase in both ends and then do single crochets in the remaining 12 stitches so we'll have 16 single crochets so we'll increase and then do single crochets in the next 12 stitches and then we'll come and increase again here at the end Okay, so in the last stitch we are going to increase and then do chain one and turn so now from here row 45 we are going to make the tail fin okay so for the tail fin we are going to do eight single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight and then we'll do chain one and turn okay so now for row 46 we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of eight stitches so you continue and do single crochets all the way until the end so when you get to the end we'll do a chain one and turn so now row 47 we are going to decrease at both ends and then we'll do four single crochets uh, in the remaining stitches so we'll have a total of six stitches so we're going to decrease and then do single crochets in the next four stitches and then decrease again okay so we'll do chain one and turn okay row 48 will again decrease in both ends and then we'll do a single crochet in the next two stitches so we'll have four single crochets okay so we'll decrease and then do single crochet single crochet and decrease then we'll do chain one and turn okay so row 49 will decrease Two times so decrease and then decrease again and chain one and turn okay so now um, we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches so we'll do sorry so in the remaining two stitches we'll just decrease once so we'll decrease okay and then we'll do chain one and cut off the yarn like that okay so now here for the remaining uh, tail 
pin we'll do the same way we did with this one so you'll just come here and attach your yarn like that and I like to attach it by doing a chain one okay so now uh, starting from where we've attached our yarn we are going to do single crochets until here so we'll have eight single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight then again you'll do chain one and turn okay so again row 46 you'll do single crochet all the way across so you repeat the same pattern as this other thing until we get here at the end Okay, so when you get to the end, we're going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn. Okay, so this is how it looks like for the whole thing. As you can see, so cute. So now you're going to make uh, another body just like this one so that we can attach the two together. So you can see mine. I already made the other one. So we're just going to attach them together like this. So now I'm going to show you how to make the fin for the side, the flaps at the side, as you can see. And for the flaps, we're also going to make four. So one, two, and again for this one, three, four, okay? So I'm just going to show you how to make one and then you can make the other three. Okay, so now for the flippers, we're going to start by making a chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so now starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do six single crochets all the way across. So we're going to do single crochet. One, two, three. three four five and six and then we'll do chain one and turn so now in the second row also we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of six stitches so do single crochets all the way until here at the end okay so when you get to the end we're going to do chain one and turn so now for the third row we're going to start by increasing so we'll increase okay and then we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches so we'll do single crochet one two Three, and then we'll decrease at the end so decrease so we'll have a total of six stitches okay so now we are going to do chain one and turn okay so now for the fourth row we are going to do single crochets all the way across okay so we'll have a total of six stitches so do single crochets all the way to the end okay so when you get at the end of row four we are going to do chain one and turn so now for row five we are going again to start by increasing so we'll increase and then we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches so single crochet one two three 
and then we'll decrease at the end so we'll have again six stitches and then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so for row six we are going to do single crochets all the way to the end so we'll have six stitches Okay, chain one and turn. Okay, so row seven, we are going to decrease on both ends and then do single crochet in the next two stitches. So we'll have four single crochets. So we'll decrease and then do single crochet one, single crochet two and decrease at the end. And then we'll do chain one and turn okay so now for the eighth row which is the last row we're just going to decrease two times so we're going to decrease and then decrease again one more time okay and now to finish up I'll just do chain one and then cut off the yarn long enough for sewing or you can just leave it like that okay so now you're going to make uh, the other three just like this as you can see I have my other one over here and now for the flippers you're just going to attach them I'm going to count uh, from here uh, from the row here so you're going to attach them from uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over here. Or you can attach them where you want them to be and you attach them facing downwards. So you can see we have this bigger side and the side that we finished off. So you're going to the start with the side that we started for the fin and then you'll touch it facing downwards like this. Okay, so that's how I want mine to be. So you're just going to make the other one like that and make sure you attach them uh, to the body before we uh, crochet the two parts together. Okay, so do that and then I'll show you how we're going to attach the two parts together. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've already finished attaching my fins here uh, at the other end. So you'll just use an, a needle and yarn to attach the fins, as you can see, okay? And then we are just going to crochet them together, to attach them together like this. So make sure the parts are adjacent to each other. And I'm going to start at the very end over here by attaching the two fins together like this okay and I'll just take my yarn and do a chain one like that and then starting from where we attached the yarn I'm just going to do a single crochet Okay, and then I'm just going to continue and do single crochet all the way through in both parts like that So as you can see this is how it looks like on both ends okay so you continue doing single crochets all the way through on both parts like that 
okay until we get to somewhere around here where we'll start stuffing our fish or our sail a little bit okay using a uh, fiber so you can um stuff it all the way uh it depends with the size you want uh if you want it to be puffy you can put more fiber but if you don't want it to be puffy you can just put a little bit okay so continue doing single crochets all the way through okay so guys as you can see i've already finished joining uh my little sail okay so I hope you've stuffed your seal. When you get here, you start stuffing and then you close it up. So now to finish up over here, I'm gonna come in, slip stitch. And then I'm going to cut off the yarn. Like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut off this one later. Okay, so now we are going to make the nose and uh, for the nose i'm going to use a white yarn so you can use a white or black yarn but for my case i'm going to use the white yarn okay so we're going to start by doing a chain four so we'll do chain one two three and four and then starting in the second chain from the hook we'll do single crochet across so we'll have three single crochets Okay, so single crochet and single crochet and then we'll do chain one and turn okay now in the second uh, row we are going to start by increasing in the first stitch and then we'll do single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll increase in the last stitch so we'll have five stitches and then i'll do chain one and turn okay so now for the third row which is the last row of the nose we are going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease and then do single crochet and then we'll decrease again like that so when i'm done i'll do chain one and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so to finish up i'm just going to sew the nose uh, on the body and then um embroider the nose the mouth i mean embroider the nose and the whiskers okay so it's going to look something like this as you can see so for the nose, I just um, attached it right at the middle of the face, as you can see. So from here, just right at the middle, okay? And then uh, for the mouth over here, I just embroidered a line like this and little V on this side or little V or you can say a little W like that. And then for the whiskers, I did uh, one, one line on this side on the right side and then one line on the left and then another one another two like this now for the eyes i use the black yarn and then i had to make sure just straight up uh, of the nose and mouth i just embroidered the eye over here and on this other side Okay, so guys, that's it for our video today. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And until next time, bye.